You know how sometimes you have things that are cool that eventually fade out and become uncool? But then, as the cycle of something being uncool persists on and on and on, it eventually makes a full 180 and becomes cool again? This is how I sort of feel about this situation as a whole. Today we're going over to the Edmonton Oilers and talking about a defenseman on their team that is making such a gosh darn boatload of money, he is so expensive, and you could debate he has not played up to the contract, that maybe, in a way, this guy's become a tad underrated now. Now, I know a lot of Edmonton fans might be looking at this video and saying, Oh, yeah, look at that, Lego. He's going out there preaching the truth, man. He's saying what we think. Maybe some other Oilers fans are saying, No, what are you talking about? This guy's overpaid. He's expensive. What do you mean? And then you have the other fans that are not Oilers fans tuning in and saying, What in the world is Lego up to this time? This guy's completely lost his marbles. I always knew that guy was crazy, but he's confirming it now. Let's talk today about Darnell Nurse. Because when it comes to Nurse, he is one of the most expensive players in the NHL at $9.25 million a year till the end of 2030. The guy is 6'4", 220, left-handed defenseman who is 28 years old. So, if you do the math here, 2030 is in seven years. The guy's going to be 35, making $9.25 million bucks a year. It's a big amount of money. It's a long amount of time. And last season, Darnell Nurse had himself 43 points in 82 games played. Now, the point production is honestly pretty okay. Like, if you look at just on paper the results that Darnell Nurse gets, he is not a bad defenseman when it comes to producing points, and it's been like that the past few years. Add on to this the reliability that the Oilers place upon him with his skating, with his physicality, of course he's a big guy, and he logs minutes like crazy, but as the year has gone on, the past season, this was the first year in which Nurse was making 9.2 million bucks a year, as the season has proceeded, you've seen a lot of people going out there and saying, wait a minute, why? Like, this guy is not a $9 million caliber defender. Are you kidding me? Look at the mistakes that he makes. Look at when he gets turnstod. Look at how the Oilers still cannot win and how their defense core is still seen as pretty so-so. How are you going to go out there and give Darnell Nurse that money and say that he's worth it? He is not. And because of the big contract, there have been, understandably, big expectations placed upon Nurse too. If you go over to other NHL defenders and look at their dollar amounts, let's take a look at Adam Fox, for example. This guy was a Norris winner, and he's a 70-point guy every season. He's making $9.5 million a year. Okay, that's a pretty good dollar amount, and I would rather have Fox than Nurse on my team, unfortunately. Quinn Hughes is making $7.8 million a season. He had 70 points this previous year as well. I get it, you could say that Darnell Nurse has qualities in his game that Fox and Hughes don't have, the physicality, the size, of course, but when it comes to just the dollar-to-dollar, mano-a-mano kind of evaluation here, you could understand why some NHL fans would vehemently disagree with the idea that Nurse is worth anywhere near 9 point something million bucks a year. This is why I wanted to go over to an interview done that Nurse had with the Mitts Off podcast. You got Luke Gajdik going out there talking with Nurse. The article, or not the article, the video is going to be linked in the description below. And I'm also going to leave a link in the description to the article I'm reading from on OilersNation.com. This was written by Woz, and it goes over what Nurse says regarding the Mitts Off podcast appearance. Take a look at the title of this piece. Darnell Nurse says, I feel like I've been blamed for everything from a goal against to the traffic on Stony Plain. Now, Stony Plain, for those that are not in the area, it's a town in Alberta. I'm not from the area either, so I would assume there's probably a lot of traffic here. I mean, the population's only 17,000. I really don't know what I'm talking about, so maybe I'll just veer away from this subject. But expectations are going to be placed upon guys with huge dollar amounts attached to them. That's just how it's going to be. You have guys that live up to it, like Connor McDavid, 12.5 mil, easily the best player in the world, fantastic, 150 points, okay. He's worth way more than whatever dollar amount he is signed to with the Edmonton Oilers. Leon Dreisaitl, 8.5 mil bucks a year, that guy's worth a lot more than that too, he is also a top player. Darnell Nurse, though, is not in that same caliber of talent. And once you acknowledge his flaws, once you acknowledge his shortcomings, it becomes really easy to say, 
Hey, that guy's overpaid. Hey, that guy made another mistake. Hey, he's being paid nine point something million just to goof off and be a pylon for a little bit. Expectations are sky high, which is why Darnell Nurse is tongue in cheekly saying that he feels like he gets blamed for everything. This article goes out there and talks about how Nurse says there were expectations before he had signed the contract of what he thinks he is capable of in performing and being and each and every night. He says this, I think the value or whatever you want to describe it is going to bring, I mean, I've played in a high pressure market since I first came into the league and it's great. Me personally, I love it because there's that juice, that fire in the summer. When it comes to the naysayers, Nurse hears them loud and clear too. He says this, I mean, you also have to take a lot of stuff with a grain of salt, like, sometimes I feel like I've been blamed for everything from a gold against to the traffic on Stony Plain, right? So it's just you have to be really cognizant of what pressure you put on yourself. There's no one that's going to expect more out of me than me, and that's been something that's been instilled in me since I've been very young. So yeah, there's pressure that comes along with that. And this is why I wanted to go out there and bring up the idea that Nurse may actually be just a tad underrated. I'm not saying for sure that he's worth nine and a half, I'm just trying to bring up the idea. And part of this is because the article we were reading from, the Oilers Nation piece, was posted onto the Oilers subreddit, and one of the top comments goes out there and says this, Imagine this Edmonton Oilers defense without Darnell Nurse. It would be gosh awful. Give Nurse a real defense partner and he'll play like a 9.25 guy. He can't play his position and cover for plugs. That's what leads to him being out of position. There's a reply that says there was a Vegas player that attributed Nurse's suspension as a key part to their win. We might not see everything he does, but they do. Another reply from a user whose username I'm not going to read says, The beauty of the Ekholm signing is they can help both carry the load now and it won't all fall on Nurse. I could almost guarantee he'll have a better year with another left-handed D that can eat big minutes. So now, it's not all on him. One extra reply says that Nurse's problem is he hasn't been given a chance to develop his own style. He's an offensive D-man that has been forced to be a tough guy and eat minutes. The Oilers have asked him to wear too many hats. Having said that, we also can't absolve him of the mistakes he has made and blame it on other D partners. And so, when it comes to the idea of Nurse being actually good, or underrated, or maybe just worth the money in general, it's going to take a little bit of convincing, I feel, to really get that sentiment across the rest of the NHL and its fan bases. But for now, I mean, based off of what the Oilers fans are saying, I could understand why this makes sense. He had Nurse playing a boatload of minutes in all of the games the past few years. Remember that game, the elimination 4 0 game against the Winnipeg Jets 2021 playoff run? Darnell Nurse, triple overtime, played 62 minutes of time on ice. And that's coming off of other games where he had played 31 minutes and 32 minutes and 28 minutes, even in the regulation game. The guy's a tank. And even if you go over to the most recent season against the Vegas Golden Knights, sure, he wasn't logging up 30-minute games, but he was getting up there in the 20s, the mid-20s-ish against LA and Vegas, so this is a pattern. Darnell Nurse is a very well-tuned and very useful Oilers defenseman, but his play over the past few months and overall the caliber of play that he provides, you could definitely say it's not that of a $9.25 million AAV player. And if you wanted to go out there and say even so that he's overpaid, I don't think you'd necessarily be too incorrect there. It's just the benefit of the doubt does exist, as Oilers fans have brought up, that this team relied on him way too much and they didn't have anybody else supporting him, that even though he was worth nine point something in their eyes, this is a player that was ultimately being overplayed and as a result he suffered. Do I agree necessarily with the idea that Darnell Nurse is going to become a 9.2 something million dollar defenseman next year because Ekholm is going to split the load? I don't know. We'll see what happens. But I just wanted to bring this idea up because I thought it was interesting to submit to the notion that this might actually be real, that Darnell Nurse might actually be a tad more valuable than we think he is, because sometimes when things get so overhated, it eventually gets back into the public spotlight in a good way once again. Sometimes when things are cool, they become uncool, and after they become uncool for so long, they seem to be cool again. Maybe Darnell Nurse is in some sort of a similar cycle where fans of the NHL have been piling on that contract so much that he is all of a sudden the root of every Oilers problem, even though some will say that he actually is still pretty okay. 
I was about to say good, but I didn't really think that was the right word. So let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. How do you feel about Darnell Nurse and the idea of him being underrated? Links are going to be in the description to the Nurse interview on the podcast, to the article in OilersNation.com, as well as the Reddit post. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. How do you feel about Darnell Nurse and his overall level of play? I hope you enjoyed this Vrishar Shrolson 99. And bye.